Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this video, we shall discuss the solutions of exercise 11.3 of trigonometry chapter. I have discussed 11.1 and 11.2 exercises in the earlier videos and also the concepts of this chapter I have discussed very clearly in the earlier videos. Now to solve this, this exercise, so we need the concept of complementary angles. Okay, so do watch that video first and get back to solving the exercise problems. Okay. So I'll pin up the concept video in here in the i button. So you can click on the i button and watch that video. So come on, let's get started. So the first question of this exercise is you have to find the value. Okay, find the value of these things. Okay, so yes, evaluate tan 36 divided by cot 54. You have to find the value of this. Okay, evaluate means you have to find the value. Now, I already mentioned that we need the concept of complementary angles. Yes. So, we have learned what are complementary angles. What are they? So, we know sine. Sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. Okay. And we know cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. Okay. So, sine 90 minus theta is cos theta and cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. And we also know tan 90 minus theta is cot theta and cot 90 minus theta is tan theta. Okay, this is what we discussed, isn't it? And then what is the other relation? We know cosecant 90 minus theta is secant theta and secant 90 minus theta is cosecant theta these are the relations which we have learned okay so these are we are uh, these are what we are going to use here in our exercise problems right so come on so here if you see sine is converted to cos and cos to sine okay tan to cot cot to tan cosecant to secant secant to cosecant right so we are going to use them here so you have to evaluate tan 36 divided by cot 54 now just see you have a relation between tan and cot tan 90 minus theta is cot theta isn't it so just see now always in complementary angles you will find that the sum of these two angles will be 90 degrees okay so let me let me do it here and show you so 90 minus 36 if you do okay the sum of these two angles should be 90 okay that means if i subtract this 36 from 90 i should get 54 just check so this is nothing but yes you're getting 54 got it so this is a funda okay so yeah let us do it here so this i can write it as tan 36 36 i can write it as just see so 36 i can write it as 90 minus 54 okay as i told you sum of 36 and 54 will be 90 okay so you can convert either tan to cot or cot to tan choice is yours i'm giving you two options here okay i'll just explain you listen once so this is so you will get it as 36 okay so this 36 i can write it as 90 minus 54 okay got my point so it is 90 minus 54 okay divided by you have cot 54 already you will change only one term Okay, either you will change tan or you will change cot. Okay, any one you will change. This is equal to, now we have learned that tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. Okay, here you have tan 90 minus 54. In the place of theta, you have 54. So, tan 90 minus 54 is what? It is cot 54. Understood? Cot of this angle, 54. Divided by you have cot 54 again. Okay, so these two gets cancelled. The answer is 1. Okay, this is one method of doing this. Now, the other method is as I told you, now you can convert this 54. 54, you can write it as 90 minus 36. Just see here. 54, you can write as 90 minus 36. So, here writing this 54 as 90 minus 36, this will become cot 90 minus 36. Okay, just here. Cot 90 minus theta is tan theta, isn't it? So, this becomes tan. Denominator becomes tan understood so both the tans get cancelled so you can either convert this tan to cot as we have done here or you can convert just now as i have explained this cot you can convert to tan okay whichever method 
the funda is same you just see adding these two adding these two you should get the answer as 90 okay so 36 plus 54 is 90 which means 90 minus 36 will give you 54 and 90 minus 54 will give you 36 okay so you will have to convert any of these okay either the numerator or denominator you will convert to the other term okay so here i'm converting the numerator so i'm taking 36 as 90 minus 54 clear so the next problem is also we are going to use the same logic right so it's better that we get clear with the logic okay now here we have cos 12 minus sin 78 now here also just check what is 12 plus 78 so 12 plus 78 is nothing but 90 okay that means that means one angle you can write 12 as 90 minus 78 are you getting my point just now i explained it the same thing isn't it so here 90 we have uh, 36 you wrote it as 90 minus 54 54 you can write as 90 minus 36 got my point here also the same thing when you have two angles in this way the sum is 90 one angle you can write it as 90 minus 78 this 12 you can write as 90 minus 78 okay so let us do it so cos 12 i can write it as 90 minus 78 okay minus sin 78 got it now what is cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta is sin theta okay so this becomes sine here in place of theta you have 78 so sin 78 minus sin 78 okay so sin 78 minus sin 78 will give you zero okay got my point so either you can convert this or this whichever is comfortable for you okay but the funda is you will use this logic adding both the angles you will get the answer as 90 okay you just check this if the answer is 90 then simple one angle you will write it as 90 minus the other angle okay here 12 i wrote it as 90 minus 78 okay then using complementary angles concept you'll convert it okay come on next one Cosecant 31 degrees minus secant 59. Here also just check 59 plus 31 gives you what? 90. Clear? This logic is clear. So now cosecant, let me convert it. Cosecant 31, I can write it as. See, 31 plus 59 is 90. So 31, I can write it as 90 minus 51. Okay? Minus you have secant 59. Clear? So cosecant 90 minus theta is nothing but secant theta. Here theta is 51. Okay, so secant 51 degrees minus secant 59 degrees. Okay, so the this is secant 59. Okay, the other angle is what? It is 59. Yes, just see here. So 59 plus 31 is 90. So this I can write as 90 minus 59, this angle. Okay, so it is secant 59 minus secant 59. The answer is 0 again. Right? So just see, cosecant 31 minus secant 59 is the given question. So I have checked 31 plus 59 is 90. So this 31, I can write it as 90 minus 59. Okay, so 90 minus 59. Now we know that cosecant 90 minus theta is secant theta. So here in the place of theta, you have 59. So cosecant 90 minus 59 is secant 59. Here you have minus secant 59. So plus secant 59 minus secant 59 gets cancelled. So the answer is 0. Right? Next question. So, sin 15, secant 75. Sin 15, secant 75. Okay. Here also just check 15 plus 75 is what? These two angles. So, you get 90. Okay. That means one angle you can write as 90 minus the other angle. Okay. So, sin I can write it as sin 15. I can write it as 90 minus other angle is 75. Okay. Multiplied by secant 75. Right. So, sin 90 minus theta is what? It is nothing but cos theta. In the place of theta, you have 75. Okay? Multiplied by secant 75. We also know that, we also know that secant theta is nothing but 1 divided by cos theta. Isn't it? Secant is the reciprocal of cos. Yes? So, this is nothing but cos 75 multiplied by, this is multiplication, isn't it? So, secant 75 I can write as 1 divided by cos 75. Secant is a reciprocal of cos. Okay. So, cos 75, cos 75 gets cancelled. 1 is in numerator, 1 is in denominator. So, it gets cancelled. The answer is 1. Yes. Next question. So, tan 26, tan 64. Again, check 64 plus 26 is how much? So, 64 plus 26 gives you 90. Okay. Which means you can use this logic. Okay. So, I am writing it as tan 
64. This 26 I can write as 90 minus the other angle is 64. Okay, and you have tan 64 again. Okay, tan 90 minus theta is cot theta, isn't it? So, in that place of theta, you have 64. So, it is cot 64 and you have tan 64. Now, now we know that, we know that tan theta is nothing but 1 by cot theta. Okay, so tan and cos are reciprocal or you can write cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta. Okay, they, tan and cot are reciprocal of each other, isn't it? So, here cot I can write it as 1 by tan 64. Okay, you have multiplied by tan 64 again. Okay, this cot I wrote it as 1 by tan 64. Now, 1 is in numerator, 1 is in denominator. They get cancelled and the answer is 1. Clear? So, simple funder. Just see the sum of these two angles. Is it, is it 90 or not? Okay. Yes. Now, let us move on to the second question. Show that tan 48, tan 16, tan 42, tan 74. Multiplication of all these things, product of all these things is equals to 1. So, this is what you have to prove. You have to prove that the product of all these things is 1. Okay. So, how shall we prove that? How shall we prove that? So, just see. Now, now we shall use the same logic again. What is it? So, now let me check sum of which two angles is 90. Okay. I have 48 here. 16, 42, 74. Now, I have to take any two angles whose sum is 90. Got my point? So, now just see. So, 48 plus 42 gives me 90. You just check. 48 plus 42 gives me 90. So, I am writing this 48 and 42 together. Okay. So, tan 48, tan 42 I am writing together. Why? Because 48 plus 42 gives me 90. Okay. Now, this 16 plus 74 gives me 90. So, let us write it together. Tan 16, tan 74. Okay. Since it is multiplication, there is no problem if you change the order. Okay. So, I am just, just checking sum of which two angles is 90 degrees. I know that 48 plus 42 is 90. Okay. So, I am writing them together. 16 plus 74 is 90. So, I am writing them together. Okay. So, this is the left hand side. I am rearranging this. Okay. So, you have to prove that this is equal to 1. The answer is 1. So, let us see now. So, now you shall use the previous concept again. Okay. So, now just now I told you 48 plus 42 gives you 90. That means 48, I can write it as 90 minus 42. Do you agree? So, come on. This is tan. This 48, I can write it as 90 minus this 42. Okay. So, it is 90 minus 42. Okay. You have tan 42. Only one, one angle you will change. Out of the two angles, only one you will change. Okay. Now, here also 16 plus 74, I told you the sum is 90. 16 plus 74 is 90. So, one angle we shall change. So, tan, the 16 we shall change, okay. So, it is 90 minus 74, okay, 90 minus the other angle, got it. So, you can change any angle, okay. So, into tan 74 you have, right. So, now just see this is equals to, this is equals to, what is tan 90 minus theta? Tan 90 minus theta is cot theta, isn't it? So, this is tan 90 minus 42. So, it will be cot 42, okay. You have tan 42 here isn't it now tan 90 minus theta again so this will be cot 74 in the place of theta you have 74 and then you have tan 74 got it now again again cot i can write it as 1 by tan yes cot is nothing but the reciprocal of tan so let us write it here so it is 1 by tan 42 you have tan 42 here okay this cot 74 i can write as 1 by tan 74 multiplied by you have tan 74 okay so this 42 is in denominator numerator gets cancelled 74 denominator numerator gets cancelled so the answer is what the answer is one okay which is nothing but the rhs of the given question got my point so firstly how are you arranging it you will arrange in such a way that sum of two angles is 90 okay so 48 plus 42 is 90 so i'm bringing those two together and these two are 90, so bring those two, uh, 16 and 74 together, okay? Then, then we shall repeat the same steps as we have done in the first problem, right? So, yeah, next question. The second bit of this question is show that cos 36, cos 54 minus sin 36, sin 54 is 0. 
okay so in the first term you have two cos terms and second term you have two sin terms and you know that cos 90 minus theta is sin theta isn't it so using that using that i understand that this cos term i have to change it into sin and this cos term also i have to change it into sin okay got my point and and also you have to check if this 36 plus 54 is 90 or not okay sum of 36 and 54 is it 90 yes it is 90 isn't it 36 plus 54 is 90 and you know that cos 90 minus theta is sine theta so seeing the question here you see this is cos this is cos here you have two signs so if i change these two cos terms into sine so i think i'll get the answer got it so this is how you have to think now let us start the solution so now 36 plus 54 is 90 so like we did in the earlier steps let us take the lhs okay 36 plus 54 is 90 so i can write cos 36 i can write it as 90 minus 54 okay and this cos 54 also i can write as cos 54 is nothing but 90 minus 36 here i told you previously that you will change only one term okay out of the two but here you see i'm changing both why because here i have two cos here i have two signs if i change these two cos to sign because i know cos 90 minus theta is sine. if i change these two to sign i think i'll get the answer okay so let us do it and see minus you have sine 36 sine 54 i'm not touching this term okay let, let it be as it is okay so this is equals to so this is equals to cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so here theta is 54 so sin 54 and cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so here cos 90 minus 36 is sin 36 minus i'm not touching this so it is sin 36 sin 54 okay now just see just now we have learned in this question that whenever it is in multiplication product if you change the order so the answer will not be affected okay so here tan 48 tan 16 tan 42 w what did you do you change the order isn't it you wrote tan 48 tan 42 first isn't it so the answer is not going to affect here also we are going to do the same thing okay so this is sin 54 sin 36 minus here let me change the order okay so first i'll write sin 54 then sin 36 now just see sine 54 sine 36 minus sine 54 sine 36 gives me zero okay this is nothing but the rhs has got my point so what are we doing here so unlike the previous problem here we are seeing that these are two cos terms these are two sine terms and we know that cos and sine are complementary to each other so if i change these two cos to sine then i may get the answer okay and and also you have checked that 36 plus 54 is 90 so this you are writing as cos 36 you are writing it as cos 90 minus 54 cos 54 you are writing it as cos 90 minus 36 and then the steps are very simple right so i hope i hope these problems are clear to you and the next part of this exercise we shall solve in the next video and if you have liked this video then do do share this channel to all your friends subscribe the channel and don't forget to like this video right now thanks for watching